make this bandana, you are going to be working a double crochet stitch in a cluster of three stitches to get this look. You start at the midpoint of the bandana where it lays flat on your head and you work out into the triangle to finish. At the end, you can add any kind of edging you want. I chose to do a series of shell stitches to get this scalloped look. As well as at the end, you will add a tie that can be any length you want as long as it fits your head and I leave a little extra length so I can make a bow. So let's get started. Okay, so the materials you're gonna need are any lightweight yarn that you have on hand. You don't even need a full cake, it just takes maybe about an eighth of a cake and I am working with a fine weight two or three yarn. As well as you'll need a pair of scissors and a four millimeter crochet hook. Grabbing your lightweight yarn at the end and your four millimeter crochet hook or any hook that works for your yarn and the tension that you want to keep in your bandana. Fold the yarn to make a slip knot. Pull the yarn through to secure that. This is where you attach your crochet hook. Pulling that small tail tight brings the knot to your hook. You're now ready to work. Get the tail out of the way and you are going to start by chaining three and into that first chain right here you're going to work a slip stitch by bringing that yarn onto the hook again and through. This creates a small ring. Into this ring you will begin working your stitches. You will work two chains which counts as a double crochet, yarn over and work two more double crochet into that hole. So here I have the hole I created, the chain two, which for me in this case is gonna count as a stitch, and two double crochet stitches to equal three double crochet stitches. You are then going to chain two and work another three double crochet stitches into that hole for a total of six double crochet stitches, three on each side of the chain two. So there we have three double crochet stitches, chain two space, and three more double crochet stitches. The reason that you include a chain two space is so that you can work in this pattern. You build from the center, this is what we've just created, and you're gonna be working outward. You can see how the center always stays in place, and then you add into that chain two space to build the bandana. So from there, you're gonna chain two. This forms the flat edge that's gonna go along your head. This edge right here, this is the chain two that we're currently working. Turn your work and into that space that you just finished working, you are going to include two double crochet. Remember the chain two counts as a stitch in this work. So into the stitch head, yarn over and pull up your yarn to work a double crochet two times for a total of three double crochet. Chain two. Yarn over and into the previous chain two space, work three double crochet stitches. So now you have a cluster of three double crochet, a chain two, another cluster of three double crochet. You're gonna chain two again and repeat on the other side. This bandana is basically worked in a series of repeats to be symmetrical on both sides. All you have to do is continue three double crochet clusters followed by a chain two and another three double crochet clusters on each round that you are going to build. I'm just working three double crochet into the very last stitch of the first round, completing that work. Let me show you where we're at on this finished bandana. We've just created round one and round two, so you can see that it's matching this. And you're just gonna build out adding clusters of three double crochet 
for each round. At the end of your work on each round to get to the next row, you're going to chain two. This chain two will build this brim that sits along your head. Chain two, turn your work, and into this first stitch, you're going to work two double crochet. Remember the chain three counts as a stitch. And in between each cluster, you're going to chain two. Into that opening, work another three double crochet. chain two, and into the original middle cluster, you're going to work, again, that series of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into the same space. The reason you do this at the center point is to build the triangular shape of the bandana. You're always going to have six double crochet into that same space divided by the chain two in the middle. So I've just, into that center space, on round three, I have worked three double crochet, I've changed two, and now I'm going to work another three double crochet. You can see how that starts to build at a triangle. On the original piece, you can see how this line is where we always add the two, three double crochet clusters into the same stitch. Every other chain two space only has a single double crochet cluster. The center one is the only one where we'll work two clusters into the same stitch. This creates the triangular shape of the bandana. Continuing on, finishing round three. Once we've come to that center point with our two double crochet clusters, we're gonna work the second symmetrical half by chaining two and working another cluster into the previous chain two space opening. Three double crochet go into there. Chain two. And into this final stitch, I'm going to work three double crochet stitches. You can see how that matches the original. I'm gonna continue working in this style for about 15 rounds. This builds the length this way, to be as wide as you want to fit. I have about 15 rounds created. Starting on round four, chain two, turn your work. Into that first stitch, work two double crochet. Chain two, into this next chain two space opening, work your next series of three double crochet. Chain two. And each round that you do is going to add an extra three double crochet cluster. So on this round I have an extra double crochet cluster than I did on the previous round. Chain two. We're coming to that all important middle row where we work two double crochet clusters into the same space to create the apex, the triangular formation of the bandana. So we're going to work three double crochet chain two, and into that same space, work a second three double crochet. For six total stitches into that same space. Remember, you only do that for the center space. Every other opening, you simply work a single double crochet cluster. I'm going to work three stitches into this opening, chain two, and three more stitches into this opening. Chain two, and into the final stitch, another double crochet cluster. You can see how we are continuing to build the bandana. 
Continue in this way for about 15 rounds total. Once you have your bandana completely done to the size that you want, it's time to work a cute little scalloped edging along the pointy edge. This scallop edging is going to be on the exterior of the bandana. And to do that, let me show you how in a couple easy steps. So what you're gonna do from your last stitch that you did when making the bandana, without even cutting the yarn, all you have to do is chain two and double crochet two double crochet into the first stitch. This represents a half shell. The stitch that we're gonna be working is called shell stitch or a five double crochet cluster, and it forms a pretty scallop effect when worked together. So two stitches in that last stitch combined with the chain two is gonna count for three double crochet. Slip stitch into the next Stitch. To do that, you just go into the stitch and don't yarn over any yarn, just complete and pull through the stitch. This brings your stitch downward to create a little shell effect. Skip the next stitch and into the next opening of the chain two, you're going to yarn over and work five or so double crochet to complete a five double crochet cluster. Depending on your yarn or how big you want your scallops, you can decide to work six double crochet or even up to eight and you have a really big like shelled scallop effect. You can see how that's taking place. You can see where we did the slip stitch that's bringing it down here. And we're going to repeat that slip stitch on this side into the next stitch. Without chaining into the next space, I'm just going to skip these two, yarn over and repeat another five double crochet scallop into the next chain two space of the previous stitch. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, that's five, and I'm going to bring it down by closing it with a slip stitch, skip the remaining two stitches and work another five double crochet cluster. And let me show you what that looks like after I add one more, just so that we can make sure that we're on the same page and like the way that the shells look. I'm even gonna close this one with that slip stitch so I can have the shell effect. Okay, so you can see how here is the unfinished edge with just the three double crochet that we did last time all in a straight line. And here is the scallop effect with those cute, sweet little scallopy edges. You're just gonna work this continuing all the way along the exterior, working two scallops into this bottom piece at the tip, and then continue all the way up along the top side. I just want to confirm again that when you get to the tip, you are going to work two sets of five, so 10 double crochet total into the last tip space, not dividing them with a slip stitch. So you're gonna let them stand tall and not bring them down in the center. And this is going to create a nice curve at the point of your bandana. I'm gonna show you what this looks like on the finished piece that we have here with the scalloped edging, specifically so I can show you that this tip has a set of two worked into the same and you can see on this I did not bring it down in the middle I just worked a double series so about 10 double crochet into that last stitch and I did not bring it down with a slip stitch in the middle that way it just has a nice curve at the triangle tip okay finish that up and then I'm going to show you how we add these easy little ties at the end okay when you get to your final scallop into the last stitch you are going to mimic the same thing we did to start by working three double crochet into that last stitch, it's going to represent a half shell on the end. So I'm just working three into that last stitch. And let me show you what I have here. So this is the top that goes along the head. Here's where I've ended. Here's my scalloped edge coming down to the point and it's completed all around. I didn't include scallops here because when you wear it on your head, it might just be a little frilly, but feel free to continue on if you like that look. So for this one, we're going to pick up where we left off and without breaking the yarn, we are going to make a strap. This strap needs to be long enough to go around your head and tie behind at the base of your head. So I like to do about 50 chains, which all in all comes out to about seven inches. 
And you just do that by picking up where you left off and chaining 50. Once you have your completed chain, what you're going to do to complete this look is single crochet back into each space along the chain. So working into the second chain from the hook, you're going to just simply single crochet to double the length or the thickness actually of this chain. You're basically creating a cord by having a foundation chain row and then working single crochets into that row. So you should end up with about 48 single crochet. And you just do that by inserting the hook into each chain, grabbing the yarn, pulling it up, and completing the stitch by pulling it through. You can see how this doubles the thickness of this cord and it's just gonna make it easier for actually wearing it as a bandana versus if you just left the thin chain cord. And you can do this all without breaking the yarn, but if you wanna change colors or something like that, feel free to do so. After you've chained all along the cord back to the work, you are gonna continue along the edge of the work in single crochets. Just a quick note, when you are working your cord, you will want to work along the same edge of the chain. So if you find that when you are working into your stitches that the chain is by chance twisted, you'll want to just make sure that you untwist it and work it along straight. Once you've worked back along the whole cord, you are going to continue along the edge of the work. So work your final single crochet into that very first chain and then you're going to be working along this edge that's going to sit along the head. So to do that, you just go into each stitch and continue working a single crochet along the whole edge of that row. It doesn't have to be precise on stitch count, but make sure that you work your single crochets loose enough that it does not cinch the edging of the bandana here. You can see how that's starting to give a nice finished edge along the once you've completed working along this edge, you are going to add another tie at the other end. So to just mimic the same tie, you wanna make them equal in length. So however many stitches that you chained on the first side, you'll want to chain on the second side. So when I'm at the very end, I have completed a single crochet. I'm right at the edge of the scallop in the single crochet. I'm simply going to chain another 50 because that's what I did on the first side. And I'm going to then turn and work back along the chain to complete a second side of the cord in the same thickness. From there, you will cut the work and you will tie the yarn and hide it inside. So let's have me finish doing that and then we will resume doing the final steps for your bandana. When you have worked all the way back along your cord towards the main part of the bandana, just in that last stitch, completely join with a slip stitch and make sure that you cut a tail long enough for tying in your work. And what you're going to do is just secure that off. And what I like to do is join the two pieces from the center where we started to here where we ended and actually this is on the back side, so you'll always wanna join your yarn from the back side. So I'm gonna flip mine over. And what I'm going to do is simply, basically bring the yarn on the back side through towards each other so that I can tie them together and hide the yarn tails. So I do that simply by using my crochet hook to go inside one of the stitches. You can see it on the front, on the back, so I'm going through the stitches. I'm grabbing my yarn tail and I'm just loosely pulling it through. Here's my yarn tail, it's being pulled through. You can't see it from the front side. And I'm going to do the same thing on this end. And I'm just gonna work my crochet hook through random backs of the stitches. Grab that yarn tail and I'm just going to bring it through to gradually meet this one and tie them off. So that's how I do that. Once it's all said and done, it pretty much blends in and you can't see it, but feel free to go through more stitches if you want a more camouflaged look. Okay, both of my yarn tails have been brought together. I've actually brought this one down from being right on the edge because when you tie your knot, you're not gonna want the knot to show when you're wearing it. So just very loosely bring them together 
and if you pull too tight it might um, deform the shape of your bandana a little bit so just make sure that you don't do that and I like to knot it three times um, every other way each time that I bring it over this secures it nicely for me and then I just like to cut the yarn tails not too close to the knot just about like that to sit nicely be camouflaged so this is the end of the bandana let's see what it looks like all together